Shano and today I'm doing my August haul video and um, safe to say there's a lot of books. Uh, I didn't realise how many books I got this month but there's a lot. So um, next month I might need to cut down a bit because um, this is nuts. Just wait and see. Okay, so starting off with I of course got my Fairy Loot and uh, Owl Crate books and you can check out those videos to see what books they are. Okay, next book I got is Daughter of the Burning City and this is by Amanda Foody who has recently written Ace of Spades. I hope that's what it's called. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to pick up her other book and check that out, even though I still haven't read the first, well, the latest one. Next up, I of course got Catwoman, and this is by Sarah J Maas. Um, this wasn't at all the actual book I wanted to get. This is like the library hardcover editions. I don't know why this one was sent to me, because I swear I ordered the normal version. But anyway, it is what it is. So I have all three that are released in the DC series. Okay, hang on, coffee break. Okay, next. Let's open some packages. Oh, okay, I've already opened this one. Okay. Ah, yes. So, on Goodreads, I was like browsing around and then someone had liked a whole lot of these books and they looked super cool. So I of course had to get them. And then, so this is Ferris of All and it is by, oh, I forgot her first name. What is her first name? Um, Serena Valentino. And so she's done like a whole series of them and I of course had to pick them up. So yeah, because... Like, this is the tale of the Wicked Queen, so it's going into, like, they talk about the, um, beasts and stuff, so it's a different perspective, which I love. So, super excited to get to these, and they don't look like they're that hard, they're pretty big and, like, big writing, well, text, and it's, like, 250 pages, maybe, and it's, like, it, it's a small book, so it shouldn't take too long. I was not that impressed with these bookmarks. Like, cool, it says to and from Book Bestie, but I like collecting the bookmarks. Anyway, okay, next. Oh, I know what this book is because I couldn't find the. Oh my god, it's gonna be painful to open. Um, so I couldn't find this verge, like, cover on Book Depository, so I had to get it on Fish Pond which is an Australian online store. Oh my gosh, it's really well wrapped. <laughs> anyway, it is Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and it is the pretty blue version. I love this cover version, so I had to get this cover. So yes, and oh my god, this book is a mammoth book, but I'm reading it in September. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> it is so big. Okay, putting that down. Rubbish down there. Okay, next. This is the last solo package, and then I have boxes. <laughs> okay, yes. Excited for this one. Oh, it is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, and I can't wait to read this book because I have only read her Darker Shade of Magic series, I am yet to read anything else by her, which I know is a crime. Uh, so yes, I definitely want to get to this. I don't know, maybe I'll leave it till October and do like a kind of Halloween-y October reads, TBR sort of vibe. That'd be cool. So yes. Okay. Now onto these boxes. Box number one. I've got to say, I love how well Book Depository wrap all their books. Okay, so the first two things are... Okay, I've got to put this down. 
uh, pen. So it is The Edge of Everything and The Brink of Darkness by Jeff Jarvis. So I love like these are really pretty versions, but I couldn't find the hardcovers. I don't know if they just didn't make these versions in hardcovers or not, but that was sad because I'm kind of a hardcover snob. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, next I got Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about this book on Booktube, so I thought I would pick it up and see what all the hype is about. So, yes. Um, next I got Sea Witch. Same reason, everyone has been talking about this book and it's by Sarah Henning and I had to pick it up, see what it's about and yes. And then Before She Ignites by Jodie Mathis. Again, so many people have been talking about it so I get really roped into when lots of people are talking about it but I still don't like knowing what books are about before I'm going into them. So for all I know, I may not like any of these. I'm sure I will. But this next bucket box is big. Like, really big. So first book in here is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. And this is by Leslie Walton. Uh, a lot of... <coughs> there goes my voice. A lot of people on Booktube have said that this is a really underhyped book and that they... Well, they've hyped it, but um, say that there wasn't enough buzz about this book because it is just amazing. So I wanted to check it out. I know um, Haley in Bookland loves it, and I think so does Sophie Series. I'm pretty sure both of them have talked about this book, saying that it was their favourite books of the years that they read it in. Uh, so I definitely had to check it out, and I'm hoping it's something like Letters to the Lost, kind of a look at those vibes because I love that book and so yes. And then speaking of, I had to get my copy of Letters to the Lost by Bridget Karuma, um, because I love this book so I had to own a copy of this book. Like I just, I couldn't, if you haven't read this book I highly recommend you read this book. Next. Okay, this is a book that I'm ashamed that I didn't already own. And I thought I did, but I didn't. Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Manscalco. This is like my favourite series of all time at the moment. And I read the library copy of this book, so I never picked up my own copy. And then when I was trying to look for my copy of this, I realised I didn't have one. So I had to fix that immediately. And I can't wait this month. The next book's coming out. I'm so excited. The next two books go along together as well and that is The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Rene Adier and a lot of people have been talking about these books for quite some time. Um, just saying how much they love these. Uh, so yes I want to know what it was all about and I really loved these covers. And then of course I got my own copy of Ace of Space by Amanda Foodie because I need to read this book. Ooh it's damaged. Aww. It's just a slight scuffle on the inside but you know whatever. Uh, yes so I love Alice in Wonderland and Queen of Hearts sort of stuff so I'm hoping I will love that book. Okay. Oh go away. I have heard Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I just saw something else in that box that I'm super excited about. Anyway, um, I got The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Thornton. And lots of people have been reading this book lately and saying how much they enjoyed it. Oh my god, it's such a big book. It's like 500 pages. Oh. Um, but yes, I wanted to check it out and see what it's all about and Oh my god, I'm like these are some big books I've got this month. I'm not gonna be able to hold these at the end. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, okay, next is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, not to be mixed up with the previous book, and this is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And again, lots of people have been talking about this book 
and how awesome it is. Ooh, there's issues with book cover. Oh, kind of being bent wrong. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that. Anyway. Uh, so yes, I again had to check this book out and see what it's all about. Okay, next, of course I had to get it. Because again, everyone has been reading about this book. And yes, so that is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Um, and it's a book about queens and fighting over kingdoms. So just right up my alley. And then, lastly, the book that made me get really excited. Oh my god. Okay. It's God's Great. And it is a signed first edition. Oh my god. So excited. Um, so, um, Katrina from Little Book Owl and Pierre from Pierre Fords. They're doing a read-along read for um, Nevernight and God's Grave. So in September we're reading Nevernight and in October we're reading God's Grave. So, yes. I have to say, I think I prefer the other covers. This is the US covers and I think I prefer the UK ones. But I already had this cover for um, Nevernight, so... I had to get this cover for God's Grave. I don't know. If I turn into Katrina from the little book owl, I am like absolutely adore this series. I might just do what she's done and get every single copy possible. Who knows? Okay guys, so that is all the books that I had come in in the month of August. And I'm fairly certain there's more. I think I bought more in this order but sometimes book depository doesn't put them all into one thing so there may or may not be more coming in September yes I have a book buying problem and a lack of storage problem where am I gonna put all these okay well that's not your issue anyway uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have read any of these books let me know down below which ones I should get to ASAP and yeah, I will check you guys out next time. Happy reading! <laughs>